Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit page assets. I'm going to start with the asset on your home page. That would be the welcome paragraph or welcome paragraphs. So in the command center on the main page in the quick link section, I'm going to click on edit my home page. That will bring us to the page detail screen where it will list out your asset or assets. You could have one or multiple. Now up to the right there's an edit button for your assets and when you hit the edit button it will bring you to the editor window. In the asset editor you can easily click in there and add text. And you're going to have all your standard font adjustments like bold and underline and font size and font color. Let's say you want to create a link from text. You would highlight the text. On the toolbar we have the link button and on the drop down I'm going to click on insert link. Now I'm going to have this text for staff linked to the actual staff page on my website. So I'm going to pull up that staff page. I'm going to click into the address bar to copy the address and paste it in as the URL and click on insert. So now that text is linkable text. can also work with images in the asset editor. On the toolbar we have the media browser that will bring up a new window. And that window could have folders in it, could have PDFs, could have images. You don't have to upload your files into folders but it can definitely help you organize images in your file browser. If you want to create a new folder you just have to click on the create folder button type in your folder name and hit the green check mark. And once it creates the folder, it will port you right into it. I'm going to hit the up arrow and go back a screen. So now it's listing out my folders and my images and PDFs I have in file browser. I'm going to click back into that test folder and I'm going to go from the browse view to upload. And I'm going to click on select files to browse and upload an image off of my computer. Once the image uploads, it'll be a green bar, and then you want to toggle back to the browse view, and you'll see your image in the browse view. Once you select your image, off to the right, you will get sizing options. It will default to recommended size, but it will give you original small thumbnail options. Original would be the size you upload it at off your computer. You can also toggle the custom size and put the dimensions in at whatever you like. Once you set your size, you would click on Insert Selected, and it will drop that image into the editor window. There are alignment buttons on the toolbar, so you can, of course, center, right, or left align your text and images. If you want to create a hyperlink off of your image, once the image is inserted, you can click on it to edit, and then you'd be able to paste in your link. If you need the link to pop up in a new tab, you can check that box, and it would save when you're done. You can also add PDF documents, or link to PDF documents off pages. So I'm going to pull up the media browser again from the toolbar. I'm going to upload one here. This is a little bit of a larger file size, so it may take a few extra seconds. Once it uploads, I'll be back in your browse view, then you can select your PDF and insert, and it'll use the file name for the PDF as the text that links to the PDF. So if we need to change that text, we can just click on it, go to edit, and change the text. I'm 
want us to change that from brochure front to click here for brochure. You can also add YouTube videos to assets or videos. You're going to need to get the embed code for the videos. So I'm going to pull up YouTube here for a quick example. Once you find the video that you want to add, below the video player you click on the share link, then the embed link, you would copy that code it highlights, in the command center and the asset editor on the toolbar, click on the insert video button, paste in the code you copied and click on insert and it will embed that video player on your page. There is a preview button for the asset editor. It will pop up another tab or window. You might have to uh, adjust your pop-up blockers for allow that to work. But here's how my home page would look if I actually saved and published the changes. There are other assets besides the home page, and you can get to those assets a couple different ways. Over in the left navigation, you can click on Site Content, click on Edit Pages, and Edit Site Pages. It'll pull up your page list, and I could find Home on that list and bring up the page detail and go in and edit my asset, or I could back up and maybe I want to pull up my company info page. go in and edit the asset. You can also pull up pages from the search bar in the command center. So instead of going off of that page list, you can start typing in the page that you want to edit and if it exists on your website, it will show up on the drop-down palette. And when you select it on the drop-down palette, it'll bring up your page detail screen. Those would be the basic ins and outs of editing page assets. Thank you for your time.